Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm bringing you guys a top 10 list of the most used fragrances in my collection. There are about 10 fragrances here with a couple honorable mentions, but these are the fragrances that out of all the bottles I own, they are the most noticeably dented. These in a way could be my favorites, but also there are some fragrances that could outweigh them, and I don't know if I could pick a favorite. It's like picking a favorite child. So, um... I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm not going to go over any notes in particular either. I do have reviews on all of these. I'm kind of just going to grab them and show them. Um, there's a couple I'm going to start with just for obvious reasons once you see those. But we'll just kind of go through them. So the first one I want to talk about is Midnight is the Exotic. This one is empty. Here's my other bottle I have of it. It is very well dented as well. I have backups up there. This is one of my favorite all-time fra fragrances. It's a very light, tropical, easy fragrance. Um, it's just very simple, and that's what I like about this. But also, it doesn't smell like anything else I've ever smelled. Um, it lasts forever on my skin. I've gotten so many compliments on this one. Um, it was a limited edition fragrance. I don't know how easy you can get it now. Um, I probably should get more backups before you can't get any more, but who knows. This is just one of my favorite, favorite fragrances. I talk about it all the time. If anybody, if you're a stan of my channel, you know this is my go-to. The next one we're going to talk about is Selena Gomez. This is her first one. As you can see, this one is dented. This one is empty. There's nothing left in this one. I mean, there might be like a little itty-bitty drop in here. This fragrance is... Chocolate, pineapples, berries, it's super sweet, super girly, kind of sexy, definitely a purple fragrance if that makes sense, definitely a good choice with the bottle color. Um, this is super hard to find now. Um, I know that bottles for this go for a stupid amount of money, which is part of the reason I stopped wearing it. Um, it's such, such a good fragrance that if you smelled it, it doesn't smell like anything else, but it does kind of give that um, candy sweet girly young vibes and I love that about this one. Next one we're going to talk about is Katy Perry's uh, Killer Queen Spring Rain. This one isn't obviously used that much but I have a 30 mil that's pretty much gone. Um, I love this one. It does smell a lot like Marc Jacobs' Daisy but this is a little more true in my opinion. Um, this smells more like walking through a garden in the rain. It definitely has that wetness. It definitely has that dewiness to it. Um, but still with those kind of like light springy florals. It is a very light fragrance. Um, spring Rain is a perfect, perfect, perfect name for it. Because it is very spring and floral and fresh. But this is a little more wet and ozonic than Daisy is. And I just prefer this over Daisy. Next one we're going to talk about is uh, Britney Spears' Island Fantasy. Could not think of that for a second. I have used that much of my 30 mil in... Part of the reason I don't wear this, part of the reason I use this much, is because it doesn't last the longest. It's a super good fragrance. It's sweet, sugared melons, um, very tropical, very just summer in a bottle. Th this I have a lot of memories with um, because I got this around the time of a Taylor Swift concert. So that is a big deal for me with this. Um, that's like a memory I have associated with this, but it just doesn't last very long. It really lasts only like a couple hours and then it's gone, so you have to reapply. So I've used this much for my 30 mil. I haven't really dug deep into this one just because it doesn't last too long. And if I'm going to wear a fragrance, I want to wear something that I don't have to carry with me. Um, next we'll go with Platinum Rush by Paris Hilton. My 100 mil and my 30 mil is like got very little left in it. I love this fragrance. It's very crisp. Very elegant, very, uh, like a light floral. This, it smells very expensive to me. It reminds me of like a very expensive hotel. Um, it could be unisex in a way. It just is so classy and elegant and sweet, but also not too sugar, like it's not sugary sweet. It's like a sweet floral. Um, but just very expensive smelling. It reminds me of going into an expensive hotel. Um, next one we'll talk about is Gold Rush. This one I've used this much of, and it is a great vanilla scent. It lasts all day. It's a multi-layered vanilla. It isn't just like Body Fantasies Vanilla or some of those other vanillas where they are like a true vanilla. This has like some depth to it, um, some extra layers to it. It gives it kind of this elegant and old Hollywood royalty. That's what this is, like, inspired off of, at least. Um, but definitely very heavy on the vanilla. 
but not the same vanilla that's been done millions and millions of times that you can smell different ways. This is a very elegant vanilla, and I really, really like this one from Paris. Next one is Viva La Juicy Sucre. I, this is a full-size 100ml bottle, and I've dented this so much. This literally smells like a freaking cupcake. The best Viva La Juicy, in my opinion. It lasts forever on my skin. It's super sweet. It's If you don't like sweets of fragrances, this could be too sweet. Um, I could see people thinking this is too sweet, but at the same time, look at the bottle. It's dripping and icing and then a cupcake cup. Like, obviously, it is sweet. Um, same Viva La Juicy DNA, just amped up on the sweetness, amped up on the sugar. It smells so freaking good. It lasts for freaking ever. Very warm fragrance, very comforting as well. Um, but definitely the, the sweetest interpretation of all the Viva La Juicy's. Next one is no surprise. This, I feel like every YouTuber who talks about fragrances has this. Mine's basically empty. I don't spray this anymore. Only because I don't want to spend money on another bottle. This is a Scottish Cherry in the Air. I have gone through a couple one-ounce bottles. Um, my husband loves this fragrance. I love this fragrance. I do want to eventually get another bottle, whether that be a tester bottle or whatever, because this is, I mean, it's been through the ringer. It is just an amazing tart cherry fragrance. Um, super, super bitter cherry. Unlike any other cherry fragrance I've seen done until recently, Britney Spears' Fantasy and Bloom is very similar to this. But it's such a sour, bitter cherry, and everyone who has ever talked about this will tell you that it's an amazing fragrance. And definitely theirs is always, always used. Um, next we'll talk about Ariana Grande's Cloud. This is how much I've used in my 30ml Ariana Grande Cloud. This is such a good fragrance. I stopped wearing it because it became so popular. Um, this has been compared to things like Baccarat Rouge 540 and other fragrances, but, um, like Burberry Her Intense, things like that. It's just, my thing is it came so freaking popular. I've smelled this everywhere that I've gone, and because of that, I don't really like wearing it. Only because I want people to notice me for my fragrance and not the fragrance that everybody else is wearing. So, very, very, very good fragrance. It's just super popular right now between this and Baccarat Rouge 540 and some of the other interpretations of this DNA. Um, it's very, very, very popular fragrance right now. It's a good fragrance, don't get me wrong. It smells very crisp and clean, um, very warm. To me, it almost smells like clothes out of the dryer. I've explained that before. Um, slightly sweet got a little bit of depth to it. It's a really, really nice fragrance. Definitely could be also considered unisex, but to me it definitely smells like a, like a hoodie out of the dryer. Next are going to be kind of my... Some of these are, I think, the endless honorable mentions. I haven't really been counting. These two we'll talk about together. Britney Spears' Private Show and VIP Private Show. I know I just did that in opposite, but um, Private Show is coffee, cream, um, vanilla. It is very soft, daytime, classy, but not overly classy. This is um, fantasy done for the lady in her 30s and 40s, I think. Um, if you like coffee, but you don't like black opium because you feel like it's too hard, this is a nice soft in-between. It gives that Dolce de Leche that's in there. Um, it's got iced coffee accord. It's such a good fragrance, um, and it does last quite a long time on me. I like this one a lot. I just try to use other fragrances when I notice that I start denting them. Um, VIP private show, very candy-like, very, um, sugary, very, almost like hard candy. There's something about this that reminds me of, Ooh, I'm sitting on my reflector and all my bottles just slid right toward me. Ooh, um, reminds me of this in a way, I don't know why, yes I am by Hesheral, I don't even know how to say that name and I probably butchered that, but... These have a similar vibe. This is definitely more dark and vanilla, while this is more hard candy. But VIP Private Show, um, very summery, hard candy. It smells amazing. And next two, and the final two that we'll talk about, are Princess Revolution and The Hippie Princess by Vera Wang. I love these two interpretations. So this one is, again, that kind of um, candied, hard candied, um, really, really does not smell like anything other than candy and a little bit of musk. It smells like a red hard candy. Like, it, the bottle is very good, to, like, interpretation of this. Um, 
it lasts a really long time on my skin. I do get a lot of compliments when I wear this one. But there's just something about this one that I really like. It sticks to your skin and you'll get smells of it throughout the day. And you'll kind of get wafts of it. And it's very, like, um, hard. Like, in the idea of, like, Princess Revolution and being kind of edgy and hard. But also has that hard candy scent to it as well. And the last one we'll talk about is Hippie Princess. This is green and floral and also sweet definitely the imagination of a, like a 1970s hippie princess what i would think um but youthful so this isn't gonna be dark and patchouli heavy and gonna be something that you're gonna like be too like peace love juicy couture this is more her younger sister this still has the green elements but brings in some of those really light playful florals that give it kind of a fun youthful vibe i love the stones that they used on the neck of this bottle i just love the like that um, aquamarine i know there's another name for it i can't think of it but i love that stone on there um so these are all of my favorite fragrances or most used fragrances as you can see i have a tend to smell sweet and like candy and like hard candy or bitter candy or i really like bitter and hard fragrances so my battery is dying, so there you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, that's Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.